Nairobi. Now, the U.S. State Department has offered a $10 million reward, and that's approximately 1.2 billion Kenya shillings, for anyone with information leading to the arrest of Mahmoud Abdi Aden, whom they have linked to the 2019 Dusit D2 attack in Riverside in Nairobi. U.S. Ambassador to Kenya, Margaret Whitman, who made the announcement jointly with the DCI director, Mohamed Amin, expressed the commitment of the United States in helping Kenya neutralize the terrorists who have for years wreaked havoc in the country. The two nations revealing their collaborative efforts, which they say had given the country's anti-terror unit more skills. Here's Chemtai Goin with more. Kenya has for years paid the ultimate price of the effects of terrorism and violent extremism. And to date, the security apparatus continues to invest in the required tools to safeguard the lives of Kenyans. Emerging threats such as terrorism and violent extremism are not unique to Kenya alone, but a global challenge that have also had devastating effects to the United States and its strategic allies and partners. Three days before the country marks four years since the Dusit D2 hotel complex terror attack that claimed the lives of 21 people, the United States, through its embassy, has come out to offer a reward to anyone with information that will lead to the arrest of the mastermind, Al-Shabaab leader Mohammed Abdi Aden. I am announcing a reward of up to $10 million for information leading to the arrest or conviction in any country of Mohammed Abdi the Aden and any other individual who committed, attempted, or conspir conspired to commit or aided or abetted in the commission of the 2019 attack on the Dusit D2 hotel complex in Nairobi, Kenya. By offering rewards for information on Al-Shabaab and its leaders through the Rewards for Justice program, the United States is sending a clear message that we will continue fighting alongside our partners to eliminate the threat of terrorism and bring to justice those responsible for these attacks. The emergency response team based at the DCI Anti-Terrorism Police Unit has through joint exercises been tried, tested and proven to be the most efficient, responsive and resilient among all the specialized tactical units in the country. Margaret Whitman, the U.S. ambassador to Kenya, saying Mohammed Aden, a Kenyan citizen, was part of the cell that planned the terror attack and that last year been classified as a specially designated global terrorist. We encourage anyone with information on those responsible for the attack to contact Rewards for Justice on Signal, Telegram, or WhatsApp via the Kenyan and Somali tip lines displayed on the posters beside me. All information will be kept strictly confidential. More information on the reward offer is available on the RFJ website. We have continued to partner in the, in the spirit of reciprocity to defeat terrorism, to terrorism and other emerging threats such as drugs and human trafficking, cybercrime, money laundering, and trafficking in wild trophies, amongst others. In consultation with the government of Kenya, we have prioritized border security as an area that we continue to collaborate with you all on, and it's uh, proving to be very successful. On January 15, 2019, in the afternoon, Al-Shabaab militia armed with explosives and weapons attacked the Dusit D2 hotel complex, senselessly killing 21 people. Following the attack, Kenya and the United States resolved to form the multi-agency counterterrorism investigative unit to share information, neutralize and avert attacks. The Kenyan security forces rapid and heroic acts that day prevented al-Shabaab from inflicting additional civilian casualties. The U.S. Department of State and the Federal Bureau of Investigations partnered in creating the Joint Terrorism Task Force, JTTF, outside of the United States. Under this prestigious uh, program, 42 detectives drawn from the Anti-Terrorism Police Unit underwent a 12-week intensive counter-terrorism training 
at the FBI Academy in Virginia. Already, the joint efforts have borne fruit as Ibrahim Robo, who was one of the main suspects behind the abduction of Cuban doctors in Mandera County in 2019, was arrested and is serving a life sentence. With the two countries intensifying their efforts to counter violent extremism, the use of technology will go a long way in ensuring that they can stay ahead of the bad elements. But even so, bolstering the security along Kenya's borders will also help in ensuring that bad elements are weeded out. Chamutai Goin Citizen TV at the DCI headquarters, Kiambu. And let's